Hi, this is Daniel, and um, I'm just doing a vlog update because um, I can't really sleep that well because I've got a few things in my mind that um, I need to express so that I can put my head down and get some rest. Um, first off, as you know, um, Fukushima is something that's really serious and um, no one's really doing anything about it. And um, it's got to the point where um, I've said what I've said and I can't do anything more but just share my thoughts on it um, because it's beyond me. And um, all I would like to do is enjoy the rest of my life without any bullshit and get on with my heart. Um, I'll, I will stick around to voice thoughts, opinions. It's going to make any difference as long as I express it out so that I can get on and do what I do with my art and all that. And, um, well, just thinking, um, you know, David Cameron, who is one of the most stupidest politicians ever, I think it walked on the surface of this planet. Um, all these so called reforms and crap. It's got to the point now in, in England that we're in um, South Africa there when you've been schooling or your last day of schooling. They call it the trick over here, they call it GS, GSC or something like that. And um, the qualification that you get when you have your education and it's supposed to um, help you move on in life. You know. Um, you know, um, either go to university or get a job. And, yeah, the whole thing about getting a job is just <laughs> it's a joke. You know, people don't realize it that um, it's just a form of slavery, manipulation, and. Um, the thing is, people should be doing what they happy or would be like doing. Um, me, I was, you know, expressing my artwork and all that. Um, well, um, well, basically, um, instead of Cameron is changing the education system. Never mind. Um, Enforcing more slave labour and things like that, cutting this and cutting that, um, causing more crime, um, causing many problems, and um, he's actually dumbing down the, um, the education system. And um, to give you away with like you know you need you need to grades like. A plus, A, C, you know, into numbers. Um, one thing I don't like about this is um, he is planning to, um, it's going to be more exam based. Um, so basically, any practical work like assignments, things like that, which actually is more important than, the, than, than the stupid exams because it's practical work. And learning, as a, as a thing is, um, to actually learn properly and to learn how to think is through practical work and research. And um, basically, he's basically promoting this parrot fashion type of learning, which isn't learning at all. Um, it's it's basically forcing people what to think and not how to think. That's how he is dumbing down the, um, the education system. And I very much in 
support like assignments and things like that to um, really think and figure things out from the AD research and, and um, I just see the weird connection with his censorship as well um, that he wants to uh, censor the internet uh, what I'm also going to say is you know with the flock of sheets um, to be honest, um, 28 years isn't really that far-fetched, um, but uh, life expectancy, if no change has happened, um, it's a pretty good estimate, and, um, and it's not, uh, people, many people have kind of like dismissed my, um, Estimate without even really doing their own research um, and then thinking for themselves and then creating their own estimate and then um, comparing it to mine to give a more of an accurate um, estimate because I think it's it's something that is really um, frightening um, in a sense and. It's the only way to actually, the only solution to all this is to end religion, to end money, and to end wars because all these things, religion wars, religion wars, money, um, politics, is a cycle of death. And, um, and one relies on the other one. If one of them goes, that system just falls apart. And, um, you know, it's, e it's either save the system or save the planet. Those are the two things. And, yes, the extraterrestrials one in would like to help but they don't feel welcomed because of the general perception towards them and it's just getting worse it's even getting worse to the point that I am getting um, antagonized online in real life um, I'm going to say something and uh, it's not to better myself above people or anything like that. Um, I um, and I'll give you a reason why I say this. I am probably, and I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one. So, um, so if you know me and you've bumped into me, and um, I am probably. The next best thing to actually um, meeting an extraterrestrial, and um, and if um, you can actually use me as an example, right? you've never met an extraterrestrial before, but you've met me. Now, the reason why I say this is number one. Um, look at look at look at my eyes. Look at my eyebrows. I have um, drawn open, them, but they are like that. They actually they actually connect like that. Um, you see, they connect. My hairline. Next, not yet. Um, number two, my gender. Um, I'm actually, I was born hermaphrodite, in a sense. So, I am very, very, very quite different. And then my ethnic origins. Um, I'm quite a mixture. European, Middle Eastern. Um, and even have a bit of South American. 
Um, so I've got quite uh, in the South American part is basically see the extraterrestrial style of energy existing on the planet. So um, I, ha I have a diversity of ethnic origin. That's number two, or three. And then number four, I have a, a chimeric um, thing. Like, look at my hair. Um, normally, it, it's it's big, it's got different strokes, and this is not highlights. This is different strokes. Um, I used to dye my hair all black to hide all this because. <laughs> I used to get teased about it, and um, now I'm a bit. No, I just don't give a damn about talking anymore. I think, uh, although it does upset me when I get teased all the time, and um, that's how I went to trouble the corner shop because I stood up for myself and I said enough is enough, and stood up for myself and I got into trouble. So. So these these four factors that make me pretty different to what society forms and what is normal. I even get yeah, I even get called the alien in some ways. Um, and um, but that's why I say I'm the next best thing to actually meeting up with an extraterrestrial if you haven't met up. One before. Now, if you um, look at these uh, physical aspects about me, and you want to impose discrimination, call me a demon, or something like I got, I got, um, I had a problem with a Christian in um, a, a street preacher saying that I must repent. Because of what I am, and I'm going to hell. And I respond, and I said my say that uh, my beliefs are nothing but an illusion, it's a mind control, and all that. Now, because I I came up with that, and I've shared my experience and how I, I got. Um, Harassed by the street preacher, um, some Christian people, because um, they're stuck in the so-called religious matrix, came and sneakily um, felt they pretended they had empathy, and then they start their preaching. And I could see this, um, you know, I can. I could smell it a while away. I had been brought up with religious nutty parents um, who gave me abuse. And they, it's also one of the, because of their beliefs, they though as well mutilated me um, a month after I was born to make me normal uh, with my gender um, situation. So, um, uh, and I have post traumatic stress disorder about this. So, anyone who actually comes up with this schizophrenic, like, this is evil, that's evil, that's bad, that, 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 towards what I create, I get very upset and I do retaliate. Um, although I, I, I regret what I've done, but I can't help it. Because I'm hurting, and I say, Fuck you. you know, I, 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 I've been through a lot. Um, it's not as if I hate you or anything, but I just hurt so much, and I've been, and you're just adding on to my post-traumatic stress disorder, and that's part of my defense mechanism of defending myself, so that you know you eventually fuck off, sense and just leave me alone and then you can carry on with your stupid beliefs but what I don't like about them 
is, which is a, what I see as a problem, is your belief in believing extraterrestrials or demons. And um, it's reaching a point that um, yeah, that, um, it's um, ask for help or not. You know, there's reality there is no God. So basically praying to an imaginary being is probably a good meditation for your mind. But it's not going to, you're not going to get help from an imaginary being. Um, that's the truth. And, um, and, um, and then to come around and, and call me a demon or a Nephilim or something like that. And I feel you're going to use this video as well to bully and antagonize me. But if you do that, you're just going to get blocked. Um, I, I don't need your bullshit, to be honest. Um, I have no time for your bullshit. And if you really want to make a difference, um, share awareness about radiation and things like that. But, um, not spread hatred about extraterrestrials and then extraterrestrial hybrids like myself. And, um, you know, you know, I just want, you know, please just stop being stupid. And I just don't like it when I get, uh, um, knowing that I've got uh, a Nanania related to Nanania. And, um, and basically saying that which is my, you know, non earth -like biological relative. And you basically, when you say to her, oh, she's a demon and this and that. Um, how would you like it if I called your mum and dad a, a demon or an alien monster? You know, you wouldn't like it. And, um, I'll, I'll, I'll just say, please just cut the crap. And, um, and I'm also very much annoyed with, um, so, you know, with Stephen Beer's, um, disclosure project. Um, where they just, everything's just money, 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 money. And, um, you just, it just loses its credibility and all that. And, um, you know, I've warned him, like, if he's going to market this whole thing with this, his C75 research and all that, in, um, peaceful communication with extraterrestrials. Um, it is genuine. Um, I've experienced um, much of um, the methods myself, um, which I know naturally. Um, but I told them they're not gonna they're gonna ignore him if he keeps on marketing it, making money out of it, and it's only gonna lose the credibility. Saying that these people, the poor just was demons and they were monsters. Um, that, that one woman, um, that sent me private messages, I don't mention names or anything, just, just as a matter of, um, keeping things a bit personal, but I'm just gonna say a woman, who is, was originally involved with the, um, the Dr. Gleer's work, um I got a private message and it was her that um you know mentioned that um she started she she said she feels that these extraterrestrials are demons, fallen angels and all that. Um because she's Fall into the bullshit, and this is what the religious political elites want. Um, I, 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 they even you can see how it, how they're manipulating the religious beliefs, and then how they're manipulating politics, 
and then how they withdraw the money. There was the religion. Um, you know, seeing the extraterrestrials as demons and alien monsters, predominantly Christians and Muslims. Um, and then the political aspect, um, you didn't really see that um, they wanted to put weapons, they are really putting weapons in space um, in order to um, detect asteroids. But behind that, and the fair enough, you know, asteroids, you know, go, you know, you storm the planet, you know. Fukushima is like a big disaster of no, own, all you need is an asteroid that could actually hit a nuclear power station. But, um, but there's methods of ways where you can actually deflect them, not destroy the asteroids. Um, that is when you have to get a spaceship in there to go on, onto the asteroid and then deflect it, you know, instead of using missiles. And in in a peaceful manner. Then, you um, see, um, they've got the technology. Um, uh, the government has got this um, any gravity uh, gravity technology is sitting on the arses and under their arses, and they keep on forgetting that they've stolen it from the extraterrestrials. You know, they've stolen it. And the extraterrestrials are not retaliating, they they just they just wish that this technology would go towards the people. And um and yet people going around and saying that the humans are monsters and crap. Um then what I'm gonna say as well you know, is it politically Behind this asteroid thing, it's already mentioned about where they, they have to they put the extraterrestrials on a tabular chart. Um, no threat, threat in the extreme. Now, when you think about this, <laughs> there's only one table with no threat, and then, then two. Two tables with possible threat in an extreme threat. I just thought, you know, this, this is a giveaway um, to what they want. Um, and it's only 28 years left, and looks like they want to do all this bullshit in 28 years. And I just say this, I'll just put this blog out here. You know, you either Agree or disagree, but don't say I never told you. And when the time will come, if something happens, I'll upload a video and I'll say I told you so. But you know, I just say I, I never, you know. Uh, at least I'd say, um, at least I put a video and say at least I told you and I. You can think on it, whether you disagree or agree. It's entirely up to you. I'm not gonna, I'm not forcing it on you. Um, here's the, what I'm saying, agree or disagree. But, when the time comes and I put another video and I say, um, up to date. Second of November. Then something happens like you know two, three, four, eight, or even five years later, and maybe a little bit longer within the twenty-eight years. And um, and I'd say, well, I told, I, you know, I told you so. What can I do? I can't do anything. I'm not a superhero. I, I don't have a cloak and I don't fly around and save the world. I wish I did have. Um, have those abilities, um, then I would make use of it. But I don't. I'm mortal. I am fragile. I have post-traumatic stress disorder from all the crap I've experienced in my life. And all I want to do is enjoy my life, be happy, um, 
show my art and that sort of thing. And um, I'm here and yeah, I'm living in this planet. And um, uh, to be honest, it's pretty knowing that um, that it's, it's quite hellish and stuck here uh, in this the everything is so mixed up and mad with religion, politics, and money. I don't know. I I don't want to. I don't like living here. To be honest, I don't want to get involved in anything. I just want to do my art, make some music, because as soon as you start getting involved, you meet up with people that they want to kick your head off and things like that. Um, it, it can't go on like this. There's no change. Um, actually, to be honest, the survival rate of humanity, chances of survival, it's, uh, I, I can't put in a figure, but it, it is really low. It's really low. And, uh, um, the reason why I'm, I think I'm saying this is because I just don't like people who rest me. Because I'm different. Um, I share videos about things that it gives you a bit of insight on what I've experienced, what I know, what I understand. Make things up. And yet I get blamed for mind control and shit like that. Accused of mind uh, and the people that make those accusations, I go to their channels, look at the videos and what they like and what they upload. It's all this religious you know, Christian crap. And, um, and it's just very much like what I experienced when I was a child. Forced up, not really brought up, but forced by my parents. I was forced into a Christian school, brainwashed with religious and I am. Um, I actually consider myself lucky that I'm intelligent enough to see all the bullshit. And when I think about it, if I wasn't a child, poor child of the with an Alania, um, I'll be in the trap. I'll be with you people, particularly the Christians. I, w I honestly, I would be with you. Calling extraterrestrials, demons, and things like that. That's the frightening. Um, that is the frightening thought. Um, I would be brought up to believe all that, and I would believe it. And I'm saying that I am lucky. That aspect. When the other thing is, I'll probably be with the anti-Raians as well. Um, if I didn't have a star money and an anger. Thank you. Although some of you probably disagree with what I'm saying, <laughs> I would have been at your as well. And then to the star seeds, I wouldn't have been with you in the community as well um, if it wasn't for um, being a star. Okay. 
so I'll be the out of being a right religious asshole. When I really when I think really think about it. I wouldn't be an atheist. And I wouldn't be thinking. I'd be running out of the matter. That's how strong the influence of my parents were to the point that um, that I believe all that shit with the fear of going to hell and all that. And I'm actually lucky. But being lucky also has its um, problems where I know that life is better on other planet and I'm living on this one and to get by day by day is difficult and to counter um, discrimination intimidation because I'm different because I'm sexed because I look alien um, to get by is very difficult and not many people know or understand and uh, they say I'll be happy for nothing yep you know I could I would like to be happy for nothing but uh, I think about it I like to think it as well um, because thinking helps me understand um, things, people better. Thinking helps me understand situations better. And thinking also helps me understand and develop empathy. And uh, instead of laughing at someone who's getting hurt or getting teased or getting bullied and stuff like that. That's what I say. And as I share people's thoughts. And um, I just wish people would have to cry. And to be honest, it's hard to cry. Stop accusing me and things like that. You accuse me. Post traumatic stress disorder and I didn't it. I just tell you what the fuck off. Um, because enough is enough. I, mean, um, I know it, it is a bit harsh of me, but um, no, that's, I'm just sick of shit. Um, that's all I've got to say. Um, Thank mm -hmm. you.